What is up, everyone? This is Shockhead 2009 DSI, your guest narrator for today. This is a battle versus Blue Gets Suga Emperor, if I pronounce that right. And, uh, of course, his in-game name is Japan. So Japan's going to lead with a Magneto, as uh, Wind's going to lead with Zero. And I wasn't expecting that for a lead manager to go straight for the Thunder Wave. In fact, I've never seen Lee Manetric. So, of course, Parahax happens. He goes for the Volt Switch is now going to switch out into his helos to take the obvious close combat, which is a very brilliant play on his part. But Wind is now going to switch out here after helos gets burned by the flame orb into Keith uh, and gets the intimidate off. And helos goes for the substitute. I was like, hmm, I wonder what he's going to go for. So then he goes for the trick and is going to give the quillfish a flame orb. And Wind doesn't care because I think this is just a setup entry hazard set so he goes straight for the spikes and Helos is now going to go for the shadow ball I don't know why the animation speed slowed down here it's gonna slow down it's gonna pick up I think so after the shadow ball it's gonna take him right down to 63 HP that's a lot I mean wow um he's gonna go for another layer of spikes so now two layers of spikes are up and that'd be my mom anyways he's taking damage from burn and orb and the burn and Black Sludge, so he's going to die the next turn from um, residual damage, I guess if that's what you want to call it, I don't know. So he's going to switch out now and go on to Napoleon, his, um, what is that thing, Polyrath, <laughs> I can't believe I forgot what Polyrath was. And so he's going to go for another set of spikes, and now he's got three layers of spikes up and he dies to burn, so now he's going to go into Kogura as he switches out into Kadre as he goes straight for the Leaf Storm, but... He's got the Sap Sipper ability and Toxic Orb. So, mine is going to go out, and then Kaider is going to go for Protect, but obviously that fails. So, he's going to go for the Sucker Punch, and that fails. And mine is going to go for the Substitute. I know what this is going for, Sub Focus Punch. We all know it. So, he goes for me first, and that fails. And that Focus Punch is just going to annihilate that Stantler. So, now he's going to go back out into Helos, and mine is going to go straight for the Shadow Sneak, and that's going to take him out. So... Freaking Dust Noir's got his broom out. It's going for a mini sweep right now. He's going to go on to Magneto and he's going to go straight for another dynamic punch. Dynamic punch, not dynamic. Focus punch. And he goes for the uh, Electro Ball and that makes the sub fade. But this Focus Punch is not enough to take out Magneto. I thought it would have. So he goes straight for the Shadow Sneak and takes him out. So this freaking Dust Noir is on a sweep of its own. So now he's going to go on to Bender and now the sweep kind of ends because Steelix is a massive defense wall. And he's going to go straight for the Toxic, but. Of course, it's going to fail because of Substitute. Now the animation is going to slow back down again a little bit. And now after the Leftovers animation... Mon is going to go for another Focus Punch. And I th think... Maybe a crit will make it a kill, but then Steelix goes... His opponent goes for a brilliant move. And goes for the Torment, which now means he can't go back-to-back -back Focus Punching. But I'm curious to see how much Focus Punch would actually do to a Steelix. And I've, I'm guessing it's Adamant Max Attack. And it does a good bit, actually. I'm like, wow, that's surprising. So now the animation's going to finally speed back up. And he's going to go straight for the Shadow Sneak, and that does Jack. He's going to go for the Gyro Ball, and that's not going to break that sub. I'm like, what? But then I remembered, oh yeah, speed versus speed. So... He disables his Gyro Ball, which I'm hoping, I'm thinking that might be his only attack. If it's his only attack, it's, yeah, it must be, because he switched out. So now he's going to go back on Napoleon. Mon's going to go for that Focus Punch, and bam! Right in Polyrath's face, and it does a buttload. It does a lot. So Mon is going to go straight for the Shadow Deep now, due to the subject still under Torrent, and Polyrath is going to go for the Waterfall, and that actually breaks the sub. But, no worries. He goes for another Waterfall, and, oh yeah, he's probably going to go for the Focus Punch. Or not, maybe he's going to go for the sub. But anyways, he goes for the disable now and disables the ice punch. Which, it would have been better if it had disabled waterfall. So he's going to go for the bulk up now. And I'm like, oh, great. Now he's going to try to set up on uh, wind. So now Mono's going to go for the substitute and just going to start spamming focus punch. As he goes for the waterfall, and that's going to break the sub. But he goes for the focus punch and it nearly takes him out. Almost. If he hadn't got that bulk up, it probably would have taken him out. He goes for the shaft sneak and gets a lucky critical hit, and that takes out that player. So he's gonna go back and he's gonna go into Siadre. I don't know. He goes for the rock slide, and he's gonna go for disable now, and disables the rock slide. 
And he's now going to go straight for the Aqua Jet. Outspeeds him in priority. Or must, you know, must have got the lucky chance. Because I think Aqua Jet and Shadow Sneak are on the same um, priority levels. I'm not too sure on that. So now he's going to go into Agumon. His, um... What is this thing? I forget now. It's a dragon, anyways. So, Kadri is going to go for the Endure. As Agumon is going to go for the Earthquake. And that is obviously going to take him down to 1 HP, should. And it does take him down to 1 HP. Because Endure allows him to live. And then weak armor. What is that? Oh yeah! Defense goes down, and his speed goes up. Not that it really matters at this point, because I'm pretty sure this has Sucker Punch. And he goes for the Endure, and Sucker Punch fails, Endure fails, he goes for the Endure again. And Earthquake will obviously not take him out because of Endure. And now he's going to probably exploit this. But now he's no longer disabled. He goes for Flail. And that nearly takes him out. But Rough Skin takes him out. And now he's going to go on to Bender. Which Agumon's going to go for a Super Power. And that's going to take out that Steelix. As the defense and attack drop happens. And... Agumon fainted and win wins the game. So good game, both you guys. Guys, remember to like, comment, subscribe. Check out both players' channels. And if you like this narration, come check out my own. Peace, guys.